refresh rate and over 100 frames per second. Do you really think that skipping after 5 seconds I have not already gotten into your mind? Think again. Ha 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 ha. Most people will give you a sort of a, a weird look if you told them that there is subliminal programming in various shows they watch. They'll think you're a little cuckoo, you know. But you see with this commercial here, we see that there's a message in the background on the TV that's basically not detectable, for the most part, for you consciously. Yet, perhaps your subconscious could pick it up. And this message is about martial law. Sort of a conditioning that you are, you know, expecting this to come. Perhaps it could be some sort of programming technique. And we know with AARP, they have uh, backing with the Ad Council. The Ad Council is through the government. Given the Ad Council's historically close collaboration with the President of the United States and federal government has been labeled by historian Robert Griffith as little more than a domestic propaganda arm of the federal government. Ad Council responds to bizarre PSA featuring martial law announcements. Explanation behind nationwide riots audio make little sense. The Ad Council has responded to concerns about bizarre PSA uh, public service announcement it created in partnership with AARP that features a news broadcast reporting an, on an announcement of martial law following nationwide riots. The commercial which promotes Ad Council's caregiver assistance program includes the background audio of TV news anchor announcing riots nationwide have prompted local governments to declare martial law. The president is asking the citizens find safety and remain calm. Authorities are working to contain the outbreak. The audio cannot be picked up consciously and is only heard with the volume turned up. So it's kind of interesting, isn't it? Now for this new commercial from New Balance, we see sort of a gates of hell being opened up. See this guy here. It's like a Nephilim coming from this pit. We see this all throughout this commercial. These giant beings in the background look like sort of like spirit beings. See one here. There's one there too. And it continues like this throughout the commercial. Right there. It's like they're subliminally putting these things in so that it's like people are being prepared for what's coming. Mar this first season by discussing some of our favorite moments, looking at yours, and telling you what you can expect in season two. We'll be right back after this. So with this, Pastor Matthew Hagee, John Hagee's son, and John Hagee being the highest paid pastor in America, also having a book stating that Jews don't need Jesus as their Savior. A lot of people are not maybe aware of that, but John Hagee has some very, very, very heretical ideas. Okay, but getting off that, we have Matthew Hagee, his son, and his son here apparently has a symbol. Oh my goodness, this symbol is just so bad. You have the sunburst, you have the star falling and moving into place, you have the cross, and you have the crescent moon. I mean, if, the, if anything points to Mystery Babylon, it would be this. The sunburst, which is, usually, which is commonly used, uh, 
you know, behind Jesus' head with various false icons of Jesus, where they paint Jesus as this white man who basically looks like Apollo, uh, is echoing back to the Tower of Babel with Nimrod as the sun god and Semiramis as the moon god. So the sun god, or the star, is what we see here with the sunburst and the star falling. And then you have uh, the crescent moon, which would be Semiramis, uh, the, the, the feminine incestuous side of this false Babylonian trinity. And you see here he's mixing Chrislam. He's making Chrislam with the cross and Islam. I mean, this is really terrible, but it's sub subliminal because this happens really quickly. You know, it's like, hey, let's get ready for the one world religion, you know, and <laughs> isn't it amazing how these things are all pumped out onto even ministries? We have them on the TV, we have them on cable shows, and we obviously have them on ministries. This is a ministry online. Who knows? I'm sure, I'm sure there's some YouTube videos like this with their subliminal messaging already. We already know there's some shills, high, higher echelon shills here on YouTube that are definitely working for them. Obviously, they have some subliminal messages. Maybe we should check into that as well. American government used subliminal messaging via MK Ultra in the 1960s with the sign-off Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, at the end of the day on TV, they would always play this. I remember when I was a kid watching something similar, but it was a different version when I was watching TV at night. Now, some people think, of course, this stuff isn't happening anymore. That's crazy. Why? How, how in the world can it be happening? I don't ever see anything on my TV. There's nothing fishy. Well, actually, this one's going to kind of shock you, okay? Okay, this woman here was trying to take a photo of herself for Facebook using a flip phone. It didn't have a memory card. It was on its internal card. She had a very, very basic phone with a, a really low plan to where she couldn't even send any data. So this image that she snapshot here that you're going to see in a moment was one that wasn't modified. She she couldn't take it out of the phone, the image. Okay, so this is actually the original image that she took of herself. And she did it, you know, where she was positioned uh, and she put the phone up in the air and took a snapshot of herself with a TV behind her. Okay, and this is what she got. Notice what the TV says. And it's, it's backwards. So, not only is it, say, kill, but it's actually written backwards. Because, obviously, she didn't do this in a mirror. She just took a photo of herself. And a lot of people think this is unbelievable. It's impossible. How could this be the case? How could that be on the screen and you never notice it? Actually, it's very easy. Because your eyes can only see about 25 frames per second. That's all your eyes can detect. Yet, most TVs today have about 120 frames per second. So there's about, you know, for every one frame that you can see, there's about four or five more frames that you can't see. Okay? And it happens so quickly that you may not even notice it. That's how quickly it happens. Now, what if one of those frames said this on it? Now, imagine if they did just do that. You know, once in a while they'll have a, a show you're watching and they'll just flip a, a frame like this in it. And you completely didn't notice it. But your subconscious mind did notice it. Okay? And that's kind of the point of this whole thing. You at a conscious level don't notice it but your subconscious mind recognizes patterns because when you go to sleep at night you you go into REM sleep and your mind puts together information and the patterns that it saw throughout the day and tries to organize and make sense of what you had seen that day and this is how you program your mind to do things things that you take for granted like walking or you know quickly doing a movement that um, 
you just do naturally. It, those are things that your subconscious mind has already programmed into you. Your subconscious mind is actually far greater than your conscious mind. Your conscious mind is basically making decisions upon data that it sees in real time. Your subconscious mind is, is, is called upon to do things that it's already been programmed to do. Like your conscious mind says, okay, I'm going to walk now. And then it you know, gives a signal to the subconscious to take over. Now, th so this is what's part of this. You know, if, if there's that one frame out of 120 frames per second that says kill on it, and your subconscious mind sees it, but your conscious mind doesn't see it, it's like it's programming your mind to do things. You see how that is? It's, it's really disturbing. Now, we see here all these different subliminal messages. Some people may be thinking to themselves, so what? This isn't going to affect me. You know, I, I wouldn't let something like that affect me, is what they're maybe thinking. But actually, in reality, it's part of your programming. You're watching these shows that have these subliminal programs built into them. And obviously, they wouldn't be doing it unless it had some sort of effect on you. When you start to watch TV or videos, your mind goes from a a beta state to an alpha state. Now beta state is waking consciousness, reasoning. You're, you're actually in the process of thinking things through, logically critical reasoning. It's all at a conscious level, okay? This is something you do throughout the day. Now alpha state is what the TV or videos you watch put you in. Once you start watching TV, within a few minutes you're into this state. Alpha brain waves are present in deep relaxation, usually when the eyes are closed, when you're slipping into a lovely daydream or during light meditation. It's optimal time to program the mind for success. It is also heightens the imagination, visualization, memory, learning. So in other words, you're learning things quicker and you're letting things in in an easier fashion, which is why they program you while you're watching TV. Even this image here is programming. We have Baphomet here, actually, with the star. Let me show you. I think you might find this a little bit of disturbing here. You saw that star on his hat. You see with Baphomet, the pentagram as well there. You also see that the hat follows the shape of the horns and the goatee actually fits and his face fits the same shape. And this is supposed to be a good guy. It's just like the Statue of Liberty being made in the image of uh, the false god Libertas from Rome which points back to Semiramis or Isis. or as we see in Bible language, Astaroth, which God forbids people to worship. You wonder why some of your friends think you're completely loony and crazy, and why do you question all these things? Why do you question your reality? Why do you question the governments? Why do you question everything you're taught? Because you're just supposed to obey like they do. You're supposed to just watch TV, be in that alpha state, and be a good little zombie. Just believe whatever they tell you and obey.